Hey Space Cadet, Slanted here. Welcome back to my tri- Well, the lighting's changing. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about something super important. And guys, a lot of artists are doing this wrong. And I'm not saying that this is the right way, but this is like a much better way. Yeah, this is just like a key thing that you need to figure out right in the beginning. You'll want to because it's a lot easier on you once you start getting commissions and you start getting orders and you're making more things and then you have to price everything. It's just easier to stick to this key formula. So that way, all your stuff is priced equally and not based on feeling. You know who you are. That's not how we price our art, sweetie. That's not how we do it. That's the wrong way to do it, okay? So I'm gonna tell you the best formula right now for pricing your artwork, and it's by square inch. So an artist that I look up to, that I trust, she is, I, I call her my mentor. I don't know if she really knows that she is, but she is. Um, it's Kat Machen, and she gave me this advice. So, in the beginning, I used to charge my pieces like this. I would have two six by six paintings, right? This one took me eight hours, this one took me an hour. Because this one took me eight hours, I'm like, well, I put more time into this one, so I'm gonna charge 400 for this one. But because this one took me an hour and it didn't take me as long, I'm gonna charge 50 for this one. Do you see the problem? Are you doing this with your artwork? Because I used to do this all the time. Is this you? Is this you? Or let me give another example. I love this one more. So this one, if it's gonna be sold to someone, this person's gotta pay for it, like, big. Because I don't really wanna let this one go, and it's beautiful. So like, this one's 400, and I kinda hate this one, so this one's 50. Is that you? <laughs> Please say someone understands what I'm saying. I hope it's not just me, like, I hope I'm not the only artist that used to do this. Okay, so I used to do this with my artwork. I have a solution for you because this is kind of tricky when someone wants to buy something and then they're gonna write you asking, why is this one more expensive and this one's so cheap? And it kind of makes your artwork look like you're not valuing it because it's not all priced the same. It looks a little weird. I'm talking in circles here. I'm gonna give you a solution that's way better for pricing your artwork and it's called pricing it per square inch. So let me show you how that works right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a measuring tape or a ruler or like whatever you have available to you and you are going to measure your canvas okay so i already know this is a six by six but i'm just going to show you how to do it for a video look you're going to measure it all the way around like this so now i know for the calculations to get the pricing of my piece i'm going to do six times six times the price i want to charge per square inch of that piece. Now the price that you're going to charge depends upon, I mean, really whatever you want, like how much time you put into it, how much the materials cost you, and you can start as low as a dollar if you want to, or you can start even higher. So let me give you an example right now. So you would do the calculation six times six, you got 36, so it's gonna be 36 times the dollar amount that you want, and that will give you the price of your pieces that are six by six every time. That never changes. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. It doesn't matter how many times I paint over it. No one's ever gonna go through your site and be like, I want a six by six, but this one's more expensive than this six by six, and why is that? No, they're always going to be priced like that. So it'd be the same thing if you wanted to do it a seven by seven, and it was times 150, then it would be seven times seven times 150. It would be, $73.50. Look how easy that is. You could always round up, you could just say $74. That way, if anyone ever asks you a question when it comes to like commissions or anything like that, you can, again, change this price to whatever you want it to be. You can say to them, my price per square inch is, say for a commission, it's, it's $5, okay? So all you have to do is give them this formula and whatever size that they choose, they already know how much it's going to cost depending on the size they choose. They can calculate it themselves. They know before they even talk to you, before they even give you the size of the canvas that they want. It's just way easier that way. And it also looks extremely professional, I think. <laughs> These are not emotionally attaching a price to your artwork. So I hope that helped. Hope you liked this video. And uh, <laughs> I guarantee it's, gonna save a lot of you the stress of trying to figure out pricing you're welcome all right space cadets if you want to check out more of my artwork you can find my work at atlantian designs 
And if this video helped you and you liked it, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you all next time. Hello, you're cool, can I be taken at the moment?